process is actually very simple in some situations, but good to know nonetheless. So, in order to do it, it's very simple. First, go to your RT camera, show an element viewer, camera. Now, go up until you see the shot, then go to scene, go to children, go to cameras, go to children, and select your RT camera. Now, it won't rename itself, so just know what number of camera it is, then copy it. Minimize your scene, go to monitor cameras, right click it, paste special, and paste as reference. When you do this, your camera has now been assigned as a reference for monitor camera. But in order to activate it, you have to come to active monitor and change it to a zero. So, now camera two, which is here, is now an RT camera. But nothing, but what can we really use this for? It's a good question. Well, projectors is one of the most popular applications of RTs. So, let's add it as a projection texture for our projector light that I have right here. So, come to the light. Right click it, show an element viewer light. Now, you see the texture here that says gobo? Well, RT cameras do have a texture, a dedicated texture called underscore RT underscore camera. This is the dedicated RT camera texture. When you push enter, you'll see that our light has sort of kind of disappeared a little bit. Well, simple fix, just check mark uber light. And there we go. Now our light is projecting, as you can see here. There's not a lot of detail on this map, so it's kind of hard to see it quite right. I can raise the field of view. Yeah, that help a little bit. Now, fair bit of warning. Uh, RT camera projections can often be a little uh, low quality. You can sort of see the pixeliness on it. It's not a great quality, and in some situations it might just be better to do it in post. But, you know, cool effect nonetheless. But beyond that, you can do some pretty kooky things with it. Like here, I essentially assigned this model's texture to be the RT camera. And as a result, it's sort of this weird glossy effect almost. That's mainly just because it's a white room though, but you get the picture. Or, like this soldier here. I assi- I <laughs> Well, I assigned his bump map to be the camera. Very weird effects. It's a fun thing to play with though. It's really fun to play with, uh... As you can see, the texture isn't very high quality. If you come in just a little bit here, you can sort of see the soldier's back is very pixelated. But a neat little thing that you can do is you can come in here, you can go to your aperture, and you can actually put blur onto the camera. When your render eventually does render, it'll actually still apply that aperture blurring to the second camera's camera, so to speak. And so you can get blur effects, and you can kind of do some cool stuff with this. A neat example of doing this is actually in my Saxy entry called Get Lost. Uh, when Kleiner is looking out the window, you can sort of see the ship's reflection. I did this with an RT camera, a projector light, and some aperture blurring. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for SPIPS number two.